You know what the number one reason people tell me they can't buy a house is? Well, it's money, obviously. What did you think I was going to say? You and I both know that home prices went to the moon and interest rates went to the moon. And unfortunately, we're all still living here on Earth. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible to become a homeowner. That's why today we're going to talk about 10 savings hacks for first time home buyers. Hack number one, it is finally time to make a budget, bro. When's the last time you looked back on your bank statements to see what you were really spending? Like, be honest with me. You ever met somebody who's like, oh my gosh, dude, there's like nothing I could possibly do in this world to save any money. And meanwhile, they're walking around in brand new clothes. They have a $900 a month car payment. They order DoorDash every single night. And they're still like, oh, it's impossible to save anything. Don't be that guy. I made a video on how to do a budget step-by-step -step, uh, to be able to save up for a house. So if you want to watch that, click above there. Um, it's a really good video and it shows you how to make a budget. Hack number two, research first-time homebuyer programs. There's a lot of good programs out there for someone in your situation. There's 0% down first-time homebuyer programs for conventional mortgages. Um, there's grants toward your closing costs, et cetera, et cetera. Not all lenders are created equal though, so it's important to know where you can get the best deal. Fortunately for you, I know great lenders in our area who offer these exact types of programs. So if you want to talk to me specifically about it, you can go ahead and text this number right here. Hack number three is buy pizza, not movers. Movers are so expensive, dude. I do, I do not understand it. You pay a couple of buff dudes to come over and move you 12 minutes down the road and somehow that costs like $2,000. Or what you can do is buy five pizzas and breadsticks from Little Caesars and then ask some of the teenagers in your neighborhood to come over and help you move instead. Just have some of the boys over for free pizza, maybe people from your church, you know, something like that, and you'll spend $50 instead of $2,000. Maybe you don't even have to get Little Caesars. Maybe you get like DiGiorno. Nobody will know. Everyone will think it's, it's legit because DiGiorno is actually kind of good. But either way, buy pizza, not movers. Hack number four, lender competition. You know those lender guys I was talking about a second ago? Well, for the next 30 seconds or so, they're not gonna like me. <laughs> but this is all just economics. The best way to get your interest rate lower is competition. Find three lenders you trust, go ahead and get pre-approved, um, and then compare interest rates. When you get the best one out of the three, um, take that one and go to the other two and say, hey, can you beat this interest rate? And then take the best interest rate out of those and go, hey, can you beat this interest rate? And so on and so forth until you get to the bottom and they say, look, there's there's no more wiggle room to, to go. And then boom, you've got the lowest interest rate possible. I'm sorry, lenders, I love you. Please, please don't get mad at me. <laughs> Hack number five, get thrifty, bro. I better not see you go into Ashley Furniture or Lazy Boy or God forbid, Raymore and Flanagan. Because look, dude, we have Facebook Marketplace. Just check this out for a second, okay? Bookcase at Raymore, $1,000. Cool and trendy bookcase off of Facebook, $100. Sectional at Raymore and Flanagan, $3,000. Sectional on Facebook, $300. Look, I get it, I get it, I get it. It might smell like Cheese Whiz and Doritos, but are we trying to save money or not? So get thrifty, bro. Hack number six is understand the cost of locations. I'll go down the list a little bit, okay? Lancaster, expensive. Carlisle, expensive. Hershey, expensive. Then you have Harrisburg, affordable. Shippensburg, affordable. E-Town, affordable. If you put the exact same house in these different locations, it will wildly change the price of each of these properties. And it's important to know where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Hack number seven is DIY the small stuff. If the house is messy and dirty, you and I don't care, we can clean that. If the paint is off, who cares, man? We can go buy you know, paint at Walmart or Ollie's. We painted in elementary school, we can still do it, right? If there's a couple nail holes in the wall, you know, whatever's going on, we can, we can spackle that, right? They have spackle at Walmart and, and at Lowe's and Home Depot. You'd be surprised, but I've watched more than a few people say no to perfectly great houses because they were a little dirty and because it needed cleaned a little bit. You know, stuff that's easily changeable. Homes that were otherwise perfect for them. So don't be that guy. And bonus points if you DIY the big stuff too. You are a real trooper. Hack number eight is shop around for insurance. And of course I have a guy for this. His name is Bill Brennan. He is the goat of our area. Bundling insurance whenever you go and buy a house can save you a ton of money. I actually just sent Bill over to help my brother-in-law and he saved him well over a thousand dollars a year on insurance. We don't mess around. You can save a lot of money, believe it or not. 
Hack number nine, clean out those closets. Just sell stuff, dude. Old action figures, baseball cards, those golf clubs in the garage that you don't use anymore. Maybe, um, you know, that bike you haven't touched in, in 10 years. Just, just sell some stuff. I'm sure if you really, really tried and went through your closet, your garage, your basement, your attic, all that stuff, you could pull together some serious change, maybe a grand or two. So just go ahead, clean up those closets, man. And hack number 10, use a great realtor. In all seriousness, there is no greater savings hack than having someone on your side who knows what they're doing. I've helped people negotiate their home price down, their interest rate down, their insurance down many, many times. I've helped people with less than $5,000 of the settlement table buy their first house. I've even had people get money back whenever they buy their first house. And I would love to help you on your home buying journey. And I hope these saving hacks can help you along the way.